Hi I'm Paula from Fabulous Chicken Emporium and today I have a really exciting delivery. It's called Texturising Talc from Vintage Rocks and I got a second exciting delivery, it's my day and it's called Instant Decay Moon Powder. Oh my god, two things in one day. So obviously I've now got to start painting and I've got to make something with it to see what happens. So I picked up this little rather shiny hall table um, but I'm going to use some IOD moulds to decorate and age it up a bit before I move on to painting and using my new projects. So the first thing I've got to do is make a load of moulds and stick them all on, so I'll show you when I've done that. Right, good morning, new day. So we got most of the resins on last night and have finished um, this morning. I just wanted to show you this, this was so cool. It was a tiny, tiny knob and if you go back you'll see how tiny it was. We casted this mould and then I quickly, while it was still warm, cut out the circle, popped it over the knob that was on, wrapped a bit of beading round it and then put the, the cut circle back on the end. Um, so I think it looks, they look much more effective as um, knobs now. So now we're on to the exciting bit and we're going to be using the new product, Vintage Rocks Texturising Talc. How exciting. So I have prepared um, a couple of colours and I'm going to show you the preparing the third. So what I've done is I've put decanted coal into one pot and this one I've actually made in the pot because I only had half a pot left. This is Fairy Chic's own colour. And what we do is mix the powder in with the paint. So I've decanted some white out finally into this pot and I'm literally spooning in some of this talky powder and then using an old brush to mix it up. Now I'm going to be putting this paint on in lumps and bumps all over the place using my Trowley decorating tool because we want it to be as uneven as possible. So you keep mixing until the consistency is really quite thick and kind of peaks like you would do with cooking. So it's going to take a while and you don't want to watch all of that but I just wanted to show you and talk to you about what you have to do and then we will start layering in the three different colours all over and I'm going to bring the whole piece together with a, a more neutral colour over the top of all of these colours and then we'll start sanding back but I'll show you what it looks like when we've got all the three colours on all over the place. I'll see you in a bit. Right I thought I'd give you just a little demo because I've done the top, look it looks amazing. And I didn't want you to think it was really tricky. So what I've done is I've literally splodged some of the blue all over, literally banged the pot out onto it. I've now got a bit of my grey using one of these decorating knives. And I'm just scraping it. But I'm trying to leave it thick. And then I've got white as well. So I'm mashing it all up. but allowing the thickness, obviously I don't want great big thick, but I do want a bit of texture, because that's what we're after, that's what this stuff's all about. So, and if necessary, over the mouldings, I should just rub it in with my finger, so as we've done here, it's neatened it all up. So that's, that's how we're achieving this look, it really isn't hard, you can do this at home, I promise. So once we've gone over the whole piece, I'll show you what it looks like and we'll go on to the next stage. All right. Right, really excited with this Vintage Rocks talc. Look at it, it's the texture on here. See if we can zoom in a bit and just pick up. The texture is super cool. I have done more detail, more texture on the top, obviously. The drawers are quite detailed, but as you can see from the legs, I'm, because the existing colour underneath is cream anyway, it's not a disaster, it's not completely covered. It was harder to cover, obviously, with a palette knife because they're round. So we've literally slapped bits on around it, bit slap dash, just to cover and get some texture on it. The next job of hand, even though I actually really quite love it as it is, is to put some rain cloud, which is this kind of neutral colour, all over the top. And then we'll start sanding back and revealing some of that gorgeous texture. So I'm really excited to get to that stage, so I've got to crack on. We've had to dry this really thoroughly, just for a point of reference, because obviously it's thicker than normal paint, where the texture's, and it won't work unless it's properly dry. 
because when we sand back it will just turn into the paint if it's not properly dry so we've got to make sure it's dry first but we've done that so I'll come back when we've got a full coat of this all over it right so it's had one coat of rain cloud which is this lovely pale pretty grey over the top and it shows up a lot clearer how exactly how much texture was actually there so we've dried it off and now the next thing this really is like live first time ever been done I decided to do it straight away for you because I've never done it before I'm going to sand back with an 80 grit paper over the, the crusty bits and see what we get we've got some blue showing through from underneath which is what we wanted. Oh look at that. Wow that looks pretty. Oh love it. Love it love it love it love it. Look. Wow. Right I'm gonna carry on now I'm too excited so I can't talk to you anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on and do all of this and create this lovely lovely texture and then I'll show you what it looks like for us in a bit. Right, so that was a messy job. We took this outside because there was dust everywhere because um, obviously there was quite a lot to sand back. But look at it. It's amazing. I, I've never seen this effect before. Um, it's, yeah, it's, and I think what's really worked, accidental, happy accident, is the fact that I've used several colours because you've got the white, the grey and the blue all showing through. And it, they just, it's not even like marbling. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's just so cool. What I'm going to do now, because I want to use... The other new product that I showed you at the beginning, the um, Moon Powder, which is like a white dust. And it needs for me to put um, wax all over first. And I think the wax will also help to bring out, pop out the colour of the blue particularly on this piece. So I'm going to cover the whole piece in the wax and then I will show you how to work the Moon Powder. Right, I've waxed it and I'm going to show you using the moon powder so I've got it decanted some into the lid I've got a little stipple brush and I'm literally going to be dusting it if you like into the crevices this is obviously going to be really subtle on this piece because the colours are all quite light to start with but if you were to use this on bolder darker colours it would look like white wax so I've got quite a generous layer going on there and then what I can do is use my rag to gently wipe away the excess can you see and the white that I've dusted is going all into the crevices to really show it off so that's what the moon powder is all about, is getting into the nooks and crannies and making all the mouldings that we took so much time over making make sense. So I shall come back when I've done that all over the piece and show you the finished piece. Okay. So today I'm going to let this piece speak for itself. I don't think you need to see me. It is gorgeous. Look at that finish. I've never seen anything like it. This is created with Vintage Rocks texturising talc and here's the moon powder picking up all the subtleties. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. I have had so much fun making this today.